Hey, what's happening, guys? What's going on YouTube? You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels, and we're talking crypto today. It's been a while since we kind of touched on, on cryptocurrency. Um, and kind of what got my attention, um, there's been uh, some, some stuff circling on social media and Reddit um, about people getting warning letters from the IRS talking about back taxes. Now, uh, initially, you know, I, I never really believed things from like Cointelegraph or CCN and, and a lot of these kind of crypto publications. A lot of them are just... You know, they they're, they're, they can, can be good news sources, but like so much of the stuff they put out is just like nonsense and clickbait and all these articles about, you know, Wall Street Investor says Bitcoin is going to be worth $100 million by 2022. You know, it's just like a lot of stupid stuff. So I don't put too much stock in those. Uh, however, I did see an article on CNN Business as well as the Wall Street Journal. Uh, unfortunately, the Wall Street Journal is always pay gated. You, you got to pay for a subscription there. So uh, we're going to go with the CNN Business article and we're also going to take a look at the uh, Reddit Reddit forum about this. Uh, I haven't really scrolled through here yet, but we'll take a look and see uh, anybody who you know reportedly got these letters. Now, here's what's kind of crazy about this. So, uh, I, I, I honestly I haven't read the article yet. I figured I'd kind of read it along with you guys. Um, but I think it's you know for the IRS to be going after crypto users when they themselves have not even done an adequate job of providing clarification on kind of crypto tax policy. Uh, I think like one area that I think still hasn't been resolved is in the case of either like airdrops or forks. I don't think the IRS has officially issued a directive on like how investors should treat those. Um, is it long-term capital gains? Is it short-term capital gains? Is it, uh, you know, ordinary income? Is it free money? Like, you know, nothing's really been stated. Uh, you know, a couple years back, uh, was it 2015? I don't know, I'm goofing up my years here. Maybe somebody can correct me in the comments. But remember, you know, a couple years ago, the IRS issued some statement that, like, out of however many millions of cryptocurrency investors, like 44 people filed taxes or something like that, like some ridiculous number. Um, and I think in, you know, as crypto became more of a serious asset and not like, you know, fake like online Zelda money or something like that, like people started taking cryptocurrency more serious. And, and we started having uh, resources like Bitcoin.tax and others pop up that would actually help you uh, have any chance whatsoever of figuring out what your tax burden is. Like prior to that, like Coinbase, Bittrex, you know, none of the sites really issued reports for you. It's really difficult uh, to determine what you owed. Um you know, there wasn't a lot of clarification on whether trading to altcoins was a like kind of exchange or not. Like the whole thing is just kind of a shit show. So with the IRS still not having really issued good clarification on any of this stuff, it's kind of silly to me to be going after people. But uh, let's take a read and kind of see what they're saying here. So um, I guess three different types of letters have been issued. One is like, hey, you may want to look into whether you properly paid your taxes. And the next one is like, Hey, we think you probably didn't properly pay your taxes. And then the last one is like, we require a response or you're going to be audited. So uh, this comes out of Washington CNN business. The IRS has begun sending thousands of letters to U.S. cryptocurrency holders, warning them that they may have incorrectly reported the taxes they owe on their transactions involving digital money. Uh, and w another interesting thing here, and maybe we'll get into this in the article, but one thing I wonder about, it sounds like at least the way this, this opening... Uh, sorry about that, guys. My uh, my Thai food just uh, just arrived, so we'll have to kind of plow through this article. I got some. Uh, what did I get? I got uh, spicy basil leaf, uh, hot basil fried rice, and uh, some crab rangoons. So uh, anxious to dive into this. But the 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 way this article opens up, it sounds like they're going after people who have at, at the very least reported some cryptocurrency gains just by the fact that they say may have in incorrectly reported the taxes they owe. Um, so it, I, it leads me to believe they're going after people who at least attempted to file their taxes, but maybe did so incorrectly or, 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 or calculated their gains incorrectly, as opposed to people who still haven't even filed uh, any taxes whatsoever on their cryptocurrency trading. Uh, as many as 10,000 taxpayers will have received the letters by the end of August, the IRS said on Friday. Regulators identified... Uh, Ugh, sorry, guys, I'm getting goofed up here. I'm too excited about my Thai food. Um, oh, regulars, regulators identified the taxpayers through what the agency described as ongoing IRS compliance efforts. So, uh, yeah, there are some, you know, there are some companies and some technologies out there 
that allow them to track the blockchain, but I think more than likely it's just like Coinbase and other companies turning over records. Uh, the IRS is sending out three types of letters to taxpayers known as letter 6173, letter 6174, and letter 6174A, depending on the severity of the issue. On social media, some people who claim to have received the letters say one version simply asks taxpayers to review their returns and file an amendment if necessary. Another is a more serious warning of possible non-compliance with U.S. tax law and potential IRS enforcement. And a third requires a response or the respondent will be audited. On Thursday night, Nicole Green, a tax preparation professional and certified Bitcoin professional with the NGG Tax Group, received an urgent email from a client about possible unreported cryptocurrency transactions. No one is talking taxes 10 p.m. at night in the middle of July, Green told CNN Business, but this letter got their attention and they were freaked out. Uh, that, it seems, is just the kind of attention the Internal Revenue Service is aiming to get. Taxpayers should take these letters very seriously by reviewing their tax filings and, when appropriate, amend past returns and pay back taxes, interest, and penalties, IRS Commissioner Chuck, Chuck Rettig said. The IRS is expanding our efforts involving virtual currency, including increased use of data analytics. We are focused on enforcing the law and helping taxpayers fully understand and meet their obligations. Now, that seems kind of disingenuous since I think they've done a pretty piss poor job of doing so. Um, but the obligations have not been abundantly clear. So that's kind of what I was just saying. Uh, because there wasn't a lot of guidance from the IRS except for one publication, many people were like, I'll get around to it, said Green. Now the IRS is knocking on their doors. Uh, the existing guidance, IRS Notice 2014-21, said that for the purpose of federal taxation, virtual currency is property. When a user purchases cryptocurrency at a given price and then later trades it away, whether by buying coffee or selling it on an exchange, the sale is subject to capital gains because it is considered property. Now, a couple years ago, uh, something was going around called the Cryptocurrency Fairness Act. And what the Cryptocurrency Fairness Act uh, aimed to do was the Cryptocurrency Fairness Act uh, basically said something along the lines, and, so, and somebody correct me if I'm a little bit off on this, I don't have the article in front of me, but essentially uh, purchases up to, I believe it was $600, uh, were immune from from uh, capital gains. So, uh, you know, if you bought Bitcoin at $1,000 and it goes up to $1,500 and you buy a cup of coffee, technically you're supposed to figure out on that $2.33 cup, cup of coffee what percentage of that was gained. So, you know, on that thousand dollar bitcoin going up to 1500 you know maybe 30 cents of your cup of coffee was capital gains and you're having to track this along with if you're somebody who spends cryptocurrency on a regular basis every transaction that you do and then tally all that up and keep records of it all it's just not very reasonable so either congress or the senate had proposed something called the cryptocurrency fairness act uh which i, I thought it was pretty generous giving up to six hundred dollars at six hundred dollars you could essentially live off of your cryptocurrency and never pay any capital gains taxes because like you know sure big purchase if i buy a car uh if i buy something huge i'm going to uh incur capital gains i'm gonna have to report on that but you know i can buy my groceries every week and not pay any capital gains uh if I'm having a contractor come over to my house and install a new garage door opener for 300 bucks, I could pay him. So you could pretty much live off your crypto uh, and, you know, kind of not be subject to capital gains taxes. So uh, that would be pretty sweet, but nothing ever really came of that. Um, let's see. So the article goes on to say failing to report the transactions at the IRS could expose a user to criminal and financial penalties. For those who have received the notices, Green said, the next best step is to request your wage and income transcript which shows all the data the IRS received over the past two years. You may owe taxes on the full amount, but you may not. Do not freak out, she said, but if you do need to take action, get a copy of your transcript, call a tax professional, and amend your return if needed. So uh, there's a couple more articles about this. Um, I think, let's see. Uh, IRS reminds 10,000 taxpayers that they could be subject to cryptocurrency taxes. Uh, I'll link to these articles for you guys as well. I'm just kind of scanning this. Oh, that's a really short article. I just kind of wanted to scan a couple articles and see if uh, if there was anything else that wasn't mentioned. Let's take a look at Reddit. Uh, what do people have to say? Meanwhile, Apple is keeping over $200 billion offshore to avoid taxes. Uh, the joke is on the IRS. Most of us are like 80% down on our principal investments. Uh, somebody, and keep, keep in mind, you know, people on Reddit are talking out their ass. People talk like they know what they're talking about, and most people don't. Uh, so don't take anything that you hear when I read some of these comments, uh, 
you know, take everything with a grain of salt. Let's see. Somebody says Captain Cook uh, says like kind exchange treatment still applies to 2017 transactions. As, and, and I believe this is incorrect, but I'll go ahead and read this guy's comment anyway. Uh, as long as those people didn't convert to fiat, i.e. once they converted to fiat, fiat to crypto, didn't converting back to fiat in 2017. So they wouldn't have any gain recognized in 2017 and would just end up reporting their net gain loss in 2018 when they sold or transferred from crypto to crypto because like kind exchanges don't work. Okay, so he's saying they don't work. I'm a CPA who is almost done building a crypto tax app. So I'm trying to help people become aware of the like kind exchange advantage for 2017, uh, but also it not being available after that. So maybe there's some truth to that. I don't know. Uh, you can still amend your returns as well as take advantage of this if you don't get screwed if you are in a situation you described uh let's see the IRS. Oh, then somebody else says the irs never confirmed that crypto to crypto trades are like kind i would be very worried if my cpa assured me otherwise and that's actually what i what i heard i always heard that uh the irs does not does not consider crypto to crypto exchanges like like kind exchanges and i was under the impression all crypto trades you know bitcoin to altcoins altcoins back to bitcoins everything was taxable um let's see canada has carry back allowances on capital losses for up to three years is the tax rate on capital gains a flat value in the states uh i couldn't imagine realizing gains in the first month of a FY and having to predict my marginable marginable tax rate for 11 months or so so I can earmark enough fiat to cover the taxes uh, let's see again nobody reads the article it states the letters were sent to anybody who bought traded or sold over twenty thousand dollars worth of crypto between 2013 and 2015 they are going after they are going after the winners of the 2013 bull run not the 2017 one as of yet so here's what's kind of interesting about that right it's like you know, a lot of people who, yeah, okay, here's what I was going to say. So you really didn't have to make money to trade over $20,000 in currency. A lot of people, um, you know, if you ha had a Bitcoin at $1,000 and you were like swing trading, trying to make 50 bucks here and there, uh, you know, you buy Bitcoin at 1000 you sell it at 1050 you make 50 bucks. Uh, that's $2,000. That's over $2,000 in trades right there, right? You bought 